Thanks for joining us for another Rivage PM Vlog. I'm Brent with the Professional Audio Division at Yamaha headquarters in Japan. Monitor Mix is a smart device app for Apple and Android that helps both performers and sound engineers. It allows the singers and musicians to adjust their own listening levels for all the channels being mixed directly from a device in their pocket or resting on their music stand. Meanwhile, the sound engineer has more freedom to do other things like adjust sound settings or speaker and mic positions. The app was first introduced with Yamaha's Compact TF series of digital consoles. Then it was updated to work with QL and CL series mixers. And now it comes to our whole line of Rivage PM consoles, the PM10, 7, 5, and 3. Each Rivage system supports up to 10 devices connected at the same time via Wi-Fi that's connected to the DSP engine. In the console's network setup menu, you can set a name for a monitor mix to identify it amongst multiple mixing systems, and you can set a four-digit PIN code for security. When you connect the app, you will have to first select the mixer, then enter the code. After that, you select which mix bus to work with, one mono or stereo mix bus per device. Once connected, you see each input channel's name with color and icon and a fader level. Swipe left and right to access more channels. The output channel level is seen on the far right. If you have a stereo mix, touch the pan button to adjust left-right positions. Next to that, you can see a new Hide Unused Channels button. Any channel that has its send either switched off or has its level set to minus infinity can be hidden from view, making it easier to scroll through the required channels. And at the top right, open the settings menu to choose your favorite size and style. Next to that, open the group menu. Here you can select channels to nest into groups. It is independent from the mixer. Each performer can simplify their own controls, creating a single fader to adjust multiple channels, which is ideal for creating something like a percussion group or brass group, for example. The channel order can also be adjusted, putting the important channels first. These group settings can be shared with other devices by email or even airdrop. So once the first performer is ready to go, it can quickly be copied to the other devices. So remember that Monitor Mix just provides control. It is not a complete in-ear monitoring solution. You will still need to provide audio monitoring for your performers, whether it is wedges or earphones. But it is a very useful app that is free to download and is probably compatible with the device you already have. If you're a monitor engineer, you could use it yourself to access an important mix instantly, even if you're on the other side of the stage from the mixer. Or keep it open on the console to make use of the mix send groups for certain channels. If the performer asks for more drums in the mix, it's just one swipe rather than 10. Or even if you're a front of house or broadcast engineer, you could use it to quickly send certain channels to a delay, echo, or distortion effect without having to change any fader layers or screens on the console. So you can find the latest version in the App Store and give it a try before your next sound check.